They only want to hire experienced people. Now, to this day, still, the concept kind of bothers me. Toy Story was made with everybody who was inexperienced. Mm. So they had just gone through it. Why were they just wanting to hire only experienced people? Why did they just want to hire the people who were experienced for Bugs Life? Because there are people making commercials or special effects who had the, the background mm-hmm. to work in computer animation. So as we geared up for Bugs Life, we had to add people because we were also starting to work on Toy Story 2. Mm. So the crew had to incre- increase. The people who are really good in the effects business are not going to be leaving their companies. Their companies are doing everything they can to keep them. They're their stars. Mm-hmm. The ones who are easily available actually are typically the B players. But the fact that they were experienced actually was not a good criteria. Mm-hmm. If you've got this experience, you're in. If you don't, you don't have enough yet. And it's the wrong criterion for hiring somebody. You hire somebody because you believe that either they're way above the line yeah. and you want them, or their arc is heading in the right direction, yeah. even if they're below the line. The yeah. arc is far more important. Yeah. The way I think about it from an S-curve perspective is that when you hire people you know, at the launch point, if, you, if they were a stock, because I have a stock background, you basically are looking at capturing all of that upside that can come.